Did I never switch it over? I thought I switched over to... Never did switch it over. That's what happened. There we go. Oh, God, right. I was in this crappy place that's always a slog. I was having a, I was having a chat with uh, somebody last night before I went to bed about computer stuff. I don't know if it would, if it would benefit, if it benefit you, but like, I don't know if you're on a standard hard disk or if you're tr using a solid state and you want looking to upgrade or anything like that. Well, to be specific, it's not really I mean, that still helps, but I don't know. Uh, how did I do this? Oh my god! I'm just breaking everything right now. <laughs> That's, uh, that's definitely not good. Weird. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what's going on, but, like, you are, like, not right the second, but, like, you, you talk for, like, a little more than a couple seconds, and then you start, like, glitching out here and there. Uh, yeah, that's just the computer doing its thing. I might just have to restart the computer. Eh, possibly. I know there was a Windows update last night, so I don't know if that's caused you any problems or what right now. Uh, uh I hate Alienware computers. They always break down on me, and it's sad that this actually has not happened ever since. After I updated the, uh, the laptop, it just started plugging out even more. So some some went wrong. So uh, that, that sucks. Maybe. I have, I figured, because I'm always impressed by laptops, because they always seem to, for a reason, start matching up to what a, compu a normal computer can do nowadays. So I'm kind of, but I haven't used a laptop since I was in high school, so that was, God, how many years ago now? So I, I always, you know, I've just been, I've always been under the impression, at least these last few years, that a laptop is just a more expensive but comparable to a desktop computer for what you gotta use stuff on. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And again, phones are phones are also starting to become comparable to laptops now with how powerful they are. That is
So how was your day? Eh, it's been alright. Started kind of late for me because my dumbass was up till 4 in the morning last night, but other than that, I'm okay. And other than your laptop trying to die on you, how have you been? Uh, I had a, I was tired most of the morning. I had to take a test, and which was uh, a pain in the ass to do. Not because it was hard, no. It was uh, the way how the teacher set it up with some with some ass on the side. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Well, at least the test itself wasn't hard, but I mean, and I've, I've always got to wonder, because this is like, this is a new thing to me, again, because I haven't been in school for several years now, but like, them, uh, teachers setting up, you know, classes and whatnot right now, it just seems odd to me online, because, just because, uh, just, uh, just the audacity, or not the audacity, the, um, just because I'm so used to ha taking all my classes in person. Yeah. I think how most of my teachers say that they do a computer classroom, which is actually pretty good. Because, you know, you just you get the assignment that's due, and then you do it, do your credit, and that's pretty much the end of that. But then you have some of these other teachers trying to get all creative and shit, trying to use other third parties to and like, either not using Google Classroom to get the assignments out. I'm like, why not just use the Google Classroom? It's the easiest way to do it. Uh, I mean, I can only, I can only say from like, from I can only say from my perspective of like they're old, so they only know one way, and they don't want to try and learn a new way. But even then, I would still, even though I still personally would try and learn something a new way if it's easier. Yeah, I just wish most of these Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, that sucks. I was like wondering why it kind of went quiet all of a sudden, but you were saying it was kind of going out on your gecko, so that sucks. Let me tell you something about Brett. We snagged him during the fall of New Haven. He never sold out his friends, but his puppy. It was this little brown dog. Back? Okay. Yeah, the entire computer just shut. That was fun. It's a lovely type of thing when your computer just shut shit itself and pulled oblivion. And you have to hard to start the computer. Well, at least your computer starts up fast enough. I've... I've been, uh... I've been dealing with, uh, well, it's kind of fixed at this point, but I was, this computer I'm on right now for a little while was having issues, but mostly, mostly because I built it myself, 
and I haven't done, and I didn't do that for like the like in like seven years, so just out of practice. Oh, the uh, the Ducktales game. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're right in that they uh they can't the uh, I don't know what happened if Disney canned it because they didn't like the, the fact that uh the old actors were still in it or if uh or if they just didn't want it to be sold because they thought they were gonna put some some uh some stand-in game in its place or something like that. Without like I don't, bleh, remembering what I said is hard. I don't know if that lasted like three months and then it was fixed. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, well, that's another game I'll probably have to take a look at when I get this is and when I'm not broke. If you were here, that means one of two things. You're looking for a nice yeah, I will. Well. I'm old enough to, ever, to remember playing the original, but that's a game I will recommend, even especially the remake, just because they did add in more stages to it as well, as well as like, you know, fixing everything to actually look and sound like a episode of the classic cartoon. Hell, uh, hell, they even brought back the original voice cast for that game. Is still going on. I think there's just stuff. I like you. Main Street. Pistols at high noon. Uh, mm. I think the Call of Duty franchise is going to sale. So that's cool. Uh, what, what's going on sale? Uh, I think it's the Call of Duty franchise. So, there's a, there's a that's, that's sizable cool. amount of stuff on sale right now. I know, uh, what is it? I know Nintendo, uh, or at least on the eShop, like, a lot of Bandai stuff is on sale. Like, uh, I'm trying to think. This is, oddly enough, one of the things I was looking at last night in my downtime. I want to say... Xenoverse 2 was like 20 and Fighters was 15. I put almost 200 hours in Xenoverse 2. I am just so Why would I do that to myself? And that was with mod. A good 100 hours of those. Yeah, a good 100 hours were put into Xenoverse 2 for mods. Uh, I feel ashamed. Uh, I mean, half of those mods you... weren't even that good. Oh, oh, well, they weren't good then. Oops. I mean, you could have been like me, doing a recording a playthrough for YouTube and doing another a master a master mode Twitch on stream doesn't help. But I mean, I definitely have sunk at least 500 hours in the Breath of the Wild. That's a good thing. Not. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh hello. god, you're you sound like your mic was shitting itself. Well, I don't tend to use a mic because uh, iPhone is a bitch. Ah. Uh. So I have to just use my speaker. Also, headphones hurt my ears if I wear them for too long. So. Uh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I, I usually use a mic, but I don't have my mic. Yeah. 
Oh well. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, what I just said, good game. Uh, Universe Two. Um, not a bad game. It's not something I'm willing to put point over two hundred hours again. I, that, that's, uh, I had fun with the game when it came out, but after a while, I just decided forget this. <laughs> And then once I heard uh, mods were becoming a thing, I decided, yeah, it was a good, th good thing I left. <laughs> yeah. well, that's what Gecko was. That's what Gecko was just talking about before he came. Is like his time with mods and these, and then he went away. Um, yeah. Yeah, his computer likes to kill itself for, for no reason. I don't know why it does that. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Because I know it's probably going to happen. Inevitable. If they do a Xenoverse 3, oh, that's going to be. That's gonna as long be as they fix some of the issues with Xenoverse 2, I think it'll be fine. It won't be perfect, but I think it'll be fine. I I used to like how the Xenoverse games look. Not anymore. But them, that game looks mad ugly. Mm. Yeah, the formula is kind of old. And they would have to really like change up a lot of things. I kind of hope that if Xenoverse Three does happen, uh, they they use an enhanced version of the Dragon Ball Legend graphics engine because I like how that game looks. Yeah, a lot actually, especially for a mobile game, right? That graphic yeah. is really nice. Yeah, I hope they use like an advanced version of it. And. You know, polish up the combat. Hopefully, yeah, have that. a good online setting, which I highly doubt they'll have a good online setting. Yeah, because right. Japan doesn't like making good online. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> oh, it's fine on our end. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm just so sick of like that online. Oops. I think, I think everybody's tired of bad online. But again, that's also the reason why. That is also the reason why uh, Smash ain't going to Evo, because Smash is online is. Ass. So, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I saw that. And I was like, you know what? I'm not surprised in the slightest. Uh, thank God, I don't want to be seen no dick ass Smash online at Evo. That's not something I'm wanting to sit down and watch. That's pretty lame as hell. Yeah, I'm not surprised in the slightest. I'm surprised Spiders is on there, but I can kind of understand why. Oh, Dragon Ball Fighters Online is a. Uh, uh, that That's why I retired angry. from the game, because the online, like, legit just made me so angry. I'll, I'll, I, I don't play the game online, like, with randoms. I will play online with either friends or just. It would dominate either screams. Yeah, that's probably the only time I play now. Is when uh, Dom plays. And it, it Dom plays, or if like if Frosty or me, Frosty, Mac, or Max want to go a few rounds on fighters, and then yeah, we'll play on there. But other, other than that, that just yeah, because the online in fighters is one of the worst I've ever played. Hopefully this evil is gonna, or when when they do, because I think it's gonna be it's gonna We're gonna see some bad on at, at evil, but uh, hopefully it shows the developers that they're online shit, and uh, they need to fix that good. that fix that crap instantly. Yeah, I know Nintendo. They definitely got like they better have gotten a message from that. They they probably. They, I I don't think they're gonna care. No, I'm gonna be honest. But, no, in Japan, who knows? Fuck. Messed up my combo. I mean, I haven't... What is it? As much as I like fighters... Well, I mean, as much as, my, as I like fighters, I've barely even gone online and played multiplayer with it. Despite the fact that I have, at this point, gotten up all the, se the various season passes. But, again, I still haven't done a damn thing with it. <laughs> I don't blame you. The online sucks anyway, so it's not like you're missing much. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's something you, and if you really want to get good to the game, it's something you really have to put a lot of time into, like all fighting games. Yeah. That... Just gotta find the time to grind it. Something I don't have much time for either, but I usually find at least enough time to, like, get decent enough to where I just, like, am above average. I like to lab the game. I will say I like Labbing Fighters is fun. Playing online is god awful. Whoops, fuck, screwed that up. Um, the thing that, the thing with uh, a lot of fighting games, like, it's just that I, I know my issue with fighting games is like, I like them, I enjoy them, but I'm too impatient to like sit there and rec and like get the muscle memory down to, for, okay, you do this to do the cool move. But I want to mash buttons, dude. No, no, get the timing down first. I understand. It's not for everybody to, like, you know, sit down and laugh for a couple hours. Yeah. Because some people just want to go online and just do matches, which I understand. I mean, I at least, like, I at least have it down for the base part to do the Vegeta combo, but that's about all I can do reliably in fighters. <laughs> yeah. I play so many characters and fighters, I don't have a main team anymore. I used to main Goku Black, but then they nerfed him, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. And so I stopped playing him. I still need to pick up- I still need to like, decide on a third. Despite the fact that I said I know how to do Vegeta, like the team I run is Krillin, Nappa, and still thinking of who I want for a third. That's fair. I mean, I still don't have like a concrete like, team yet. For right now, I just have, like, a couple characters I'm decent with, and then, like, 50 side characters. Yeah, I, I like to run Double Broly and a Vegeta. Other than that, I'm still trying to figure out my next two. I mean, I can definitely say that uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta is one of my better characters for no apparent reason. Yeah. Give me a second. But I gotta find like other characters for him. Oh, um, UI fills that void, but even then, Fighters Online sucks so bad that even if I like him a lot, I probably still won't play the game that much. Understandable. It kind of sucks that now, like a lot of games. Also, uh, sorry, uh, High Shade. But yeah, it kind of sucks nowadays that a lot of uh. A lot of fighting games now, like, they need to have decent online for their community to thrive, and unless they're Nintendo. And if they don't have that, it it just, it's not gonna happen. No. I mean, there'll still be, like, offline scenes, because it's, like, it's it's common for every game. But the online scene is something else. And a lot of people look to online, because what if they don't have the money or the, uh... You know, the means to go to tournaments and stuff like that. They look to online so that the way they can get better. But if the online sucks, it's just like, well, what are they going to do? It's like, they just got to sit there and suffer. Exactly. It's like, well, there goes there goes that good faith. There goes that good faith we had, we had in that game. Or I had in that game because I can't do anything online with it. Yeah. And then also there's the thing of uh, a lot of the Wi-Fi warriors. I mean, I have nothing wrong with Wi-Fi if you have no choice. But if you have a choice, get, e get an Ethernet. Yeah. yeah. At my old place, I had an Ethernet adapter, but you know, where I am now, like I don't have sole control of the internet, so I can't yeah. decide. Yeah. I mean, if, if I mean, if you can't, I understand. Like, if if your circumstances like literally say you cannot, that's fine. But if people have a choice, they should just do it. Because I cannot count the amount of times that I've lost a game just because of lag. Or a random lag spike that caused me to drop my combo, and then I lose the match for that. It is freaking the worst feeling on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be interesting, uh, you bring up a point, Shade, like, it's gonna be interesting when the Splatfest happens, I believe it's next weekend. It'll be interesting to see how I, how I'm gonna go, cause, like I said, I, I am forced to, I'm forced to Wi-Fi now, but, 
the guy who said it, the guy, the house owner, roommate, he set it all up so there's Wi-Fi, there's like uh, uh, Wi-Fi hub spots all around the house. So basically, if you're anywhere within 50 feet of the house, there will be there will be uh, good Wi-Fi, or at least good connectivity to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. I think the only and uh, again uh, as you're saying before like there's some there's some stuff you can only help so much but like the thing i think that gets you the most is like the people who are forced to wi-fi but then it's just like this is a really important match that i need to do and they don't go and tell people hey don't use the internet for like five to ten minutes because i need a good connection they won't go do that and then they'll wonder why is the connection so bad well my mom's watching netflix and my dad and my dad's Doing something on the computer in the other room that I should know about. Oh yeah, that 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 that, that stuff always sucks if you're living with like other people. Yeah, that's that was especially like whenever... if you're watching Netflix or something, and that that crap just destroys your Wi-Fi. Yeah, that's that's whenever I just start to play a fighting game, I usually try to play when there's like either I'm kind of home alone or if there's no one else using anything, or everybody's asleep. <laughs> Yeah, either everyone, yeah, either asleep. And I'll go ahead and, like, I'll, whatever game I'm going to play on, I, I need the best connection for I'll just try to play without anyone actually using the net. And I use an Ethernet cable, but that, that still kind of doesn't help with some internet, like, one-on-one -on -one connecting and fighting games. Like, on fighters, I'll get, like... May I'll get a maybe a consistent three to four bar, but there's still like the delay that yeah, ours lie in fighters. It's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just convinced that my uh, that my internet is sucks. Yeah, I mean, there's not much of you can do if your internet sucks. Yeah, you can see some hot garbage. Yeah, there's really not much you can do. Um, yeah, you, uh, yeah, Shade, you can put, uh, Ethernet to your Switch, but how you do it is, is you get a USB Ethernet adapter. Most of them work. Just... You yeah. would have to pay a lot for it. Eh, yes and no. Mm. How much uh, is it? I'm actually curious. Uh, I've, I've had one for a while. I had one for a while. I think I bought mine. It was just, a, it's like not meant specifically for a Switch. It was just standard USB. Uh, yeah, standard USB connection. Or standard USB device. So, but I think it was like $15, $20 when I got it. That's not bad. Yeah, it like, it's not going to be, it's not going to be $10 cheap. Oh, hey, here it is in the bargain bin at Walmart. Let me just grab it for five bucks. It's not going to be that, but most of them do work with Nintendo Switch. Uh, out of the box. That's good, at least. Man, if you have a choice to improve your connection by any type of means, do it. Because nobody wants to play in a laggy connection online. Nobody. If you do your best. You like playing with that online here because that's just and I can't trust you no more. Yeah. It's, it's like if you have the option. I uh, just I can't trust that person. But the, no, but, the delay, but the but the delay makes my makes my buttons come out faster. No, no, no. No, no the fuck it don't. <laughs> oh, oh my Wi Fi's fine. I have the I have the best Wi Fi on the planet. What if it just randomly spikes? Yeah, no. If you if you got if we're playing a match and I realize you have some really bad online, unless you're a friend, um, I'm not I'm not playing that game. I don't blame you. If the connection's like legit to the point where I can't even move, I'll let them win. I'll suffer through it. Because I hate losing, but if the connection's literally unplayable, I'll either close the game or just uh, let them win. 
It is not worth my sanity to play through a laggy connection. Not worth it. They can have the W for all I care. I got massive headache right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, this quarantine is different. Yeah, quarantine be something else, alright. Can't wait till the stuff blows over. I cannot wait. Yeah, like it's gonna. I mean, it will eventually blow over, but it's there's some people who think some people who are thinking it's blow it. It's been done for at least two weeks, and there's some people who think it will be years still. It's just like no, there there will be happy mediums in all this. Just gonna wait for that to pop up. Yeah, you just gotta wait a while. It's probably gonna be at least a couple months. Yeah, a couple which, more anyway. Never gonna. Oh, never gonna. Well, not soon, but it's still happening. Yeah. Although I'm a little worried because my state just just released just uh, voted you know four to three against keeping against keeping people in the uh, keeping the quarantine mandatory effectively. So now people are gonna start heading out of their houses as they wish. Oh, that'll be fun. Well, that's just not the what can take me. I I can't help. I can't help them, and well, yeah. Well, if they get the virus, that's their own fault. Can't afford to mask people anymore because they're all idiots. This is why we can't have nice things. Yep. And for the curious, I'm not down south where this kind of thing would be a little more responsible. No, this is up in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess a little more reasonable is what the words I should be saying. Hi, Farf. So the game's gonna the game's gonna do a little bit of a cutscene or a little bit of story drag on thing. So I'm gonna go get some water here. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. I'm actually about to head off the bed. Right. You two have a damn good one. All right, you too. And bye. Peace. <laughs> Kind of dumb me to start off an entire stream without water at this standby, but whatever, we're here now. <laughs> it worked out. Thank you, cutscenes. Also, for us, yeah, that's kind of what's happening with us here. Shea. I know you're, I know it's a little different because you're off and because you're over in Australia, Shade, but like it's, it's kind of what's happening here is like they're, they're saying. It's not going to like kick into effect for another three or four weeks at least while they get those guidelines set up, but they are little. It's literally going to be, you know, restaurants. I mean, restaurants that can do stuff, but it has to be at these specific within these specific uh, specifications. You know, businesses can open, but it has. But they probably have to force them to give out any antiviral stuff to employees that don't have it available to them, stuff like that. Yeah, except, yeah, I think I have that around here too. Like, places are finally starting to open back up at least a little bit. Which, I understand business needs to work, business needs to happen. Yeah. But we're, we see... And it especially, it especially sucks with the people that we're working. <laughs> yeah. 
But like, we still got, like, even now while well, businesses are, are mostly closed and everything, they found ways to at least get most of their business done that they've planned to happen at this time of year. Actually, thank you for the resubscription. I should have this open so I can see. No special message, just a, a resubscription. 16 months though, nice. Oops. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting seeing how things turn out. Because right now at my job, they're forcing us to wear masks, and apparently if you get in trouble enough, they can fire you over it. For is, not wearing the mask, or...? Just having it, like, not on properly or something. Mm, that kind. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> it, it, does it makes sense, but it is very dumb. Just, to, just imagine going to another job, but you get fired for not wearing a mask. Okay, Ashley, thank you for gifting out uh, some subs as well. So, Shade and Zenonia, welcome to the sub party. I don't have a special name for it. <laughs> Not yet. I'll figure it out at some point in the future when I have more than... Not trying to sound like a dick, but when I have more than f five, I'll figure out a name for it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of early. Plus, making up names is hard. I'm not, I'm not creative. I'm not either. The scooter park. <laughs> the scooter park. God damn it. <laughs> uh, I mean, I would say, you know, as per the fact I have, I do have the, uh, do have the, the nut button over there. Like, I could do something off that, but it's, what the hell? Um, I could do something off of that, but Twitch is, uh, with the fact that Twitch is starting to crack down on people who have not, like, that uh, have, like, you know, sexually suggestive stuff, like, like, for example, the nut button, I've been thinking about replacing my, uh, my sub, or my sub emotes at some point here. Yeah. Definitely don't want to get in trouble with Twitch. That would not be fun. Yeah, especially now that they've at least for how bands work now. I don't know the exact so. Tell me I'm stupid and correct me if I'm wrong, but I, from what I know with bands now, they've managed to do it on an IP basis, not on a user basis now. I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't pay enough attention. I've kind of stopped like, really watching streams ever since I started working. No, that's fair. It's going to be me too when I go back to work. Yeah. I'll still watch some on occasion, but... Either I get distracted while watching a stream, or I just am busy. Whenever the people I want to watch are streaming. <laughs> the Sanctum? You know, I wouldn't be so, so I wouldn't be opposed to Sanctum, but that's probably because I played the game by the same name, and so that's, that's really the only reason, so I don't feel like it would be that justified to have that as the name. Yeah, I'll figure it out one night. Figure out one night when it becomes very uh, more relevant or more needed, and I'll just be sitting around like, "Oh yeah, that." And then three weeks, and then three <laughs> weeks later, I'll be like, "Okay, that was a stupid idea." <laughs> uh, yeah, Shade, that is the that is, that is what Sanctum is. It's the 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 uh, tower defense first person shooter combination game. Too, too headstrong. It's a red shower for a brick. I'm not gonna kill in time. Oh, I did kill in time. Damn. 
Well, uh, I would say between like the two Sanctum games, like because there are two of them now, like if you want to play it, like the first game is definitely more leans towards the tower defense side of the, of the split, but the second game definitely leads more towards the first person shooter part of, of that split. Listen, Super Sanctum is not. <laughs> That's that could be something I could do one night. Cause well, at least because you're saying that you have it shade. I could probably boot up Sanctum Two and actually play through the game instead of like being, leaving it halfway done. Yeah, I need to be better about that. Oh, I'm terrible. My backlog page is is, is a travesty. On my PS3, I know I have a lot of games I bought. Thought I would like it, never finished it. Probably need to get on that eventually. I guess I would more or less need to play more of Sanctum 2, more or less because, uh, or because the, what you call, what you call it, I, I got the DLC character too, but her whole thing is like, a, it's a crossbow that it can basically be played at whatever distance you feel like. So, but most of the time I end up playing as, as, uh, Autumn or the character as a rocket launcher, so. I shoot the enemies behind me and this would be a lot more effective, but uh vendetta against this guy. Damn it. Well I can do all those trophies right the fuck now if I wanted to. Yeah. Considering my history, I think I, you would think I would also like shotgun boy, but I don't.
That mission got failed. Amazing. I'm amazing at, at games. Don't don't question anything about it. My flesh is forever. The best gamer. Let's try it again. I'll show you what a is. Well, that'll be a grenade for the ages that will solve all my problems. transfusion but uh just stupid damage okay let's try and let's one up yeah that grenade's gonna work out pretty well uh the current banner units uh they're bait Pure and simple, they're bait. Do not roll on this banner, I'm just gonna tell you that much. Good lord, that did a lot of damage. <clears throat> um, yeah. I don't know what they really are in the meta, seeing as Shadow is. Seeing as Shadow in the Dragali banner, uh, meta right now is broken beyond all belief, so we don't really need more Shadow units. Let's, at least for the one unit. Um, otherwise, maybe the maybe the staff unit, because there's it's trying to work off of a uh, frostbite, which is effectively water's poison damage. But yeah, I don't, I really, I don't really see a need to really go on this. The dragon, the dragon seems interesting because it does kind of boost poison potential for everybody on the, for everybody fighting. But personally, I'm not, I'm not rolling that because I don't need it that bad. Plus, I, they're, they're units that are gonna just be around. They're, they're not limited units. Yeah, they're. They're not limited units, so they're going to be around, and the other half of it is that the, uh, my brain will kick over, give me a second. The other thing is, apparently there's, there's going to be another gala at the, at, near the end of this month anyway. So, but that's just me, I'm saving up in that re for that regard. Oh, shit. Don't drop the combo. You did that three times in a row. Come on, Beerus. Lord Beerus, get it right. <laughs> eh. I'm playing Kakarot, so he's just Beerus to me. Alright, there you go. Besides, he's getting looped by Vegeta Condos. Loops. I think it's fun this game even has loops. Although Probably shade, I, uh, I I will say shade that like I did I did somehow manage to get Peony like my last my l last bit of uh, free mo uh, free currency before I would have had to start paying money from the Fire Emblem banner, so I'm set. And apparently, uh, looking at the meta, Krom is equal in power to Marth, so yeah. Never 
Boom. Boop Tobe. You? I can actually see why you'd want to tear that particular statue down. Clearly you're illiterate, and the image of me enjoying a good book just makes your hair hurt so awful. We need to really stop being so annoying with that. Mode. I know you want to. There you go. I know you wanted to. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Gotta hit this mission. Yeah, I need to... I haven't been super thorough about getting to the, uh... What do they even call it? Oh, I did close your eye. Oops. Whatever the, uh, high tier of those, of this, of these events are. I haven't gotten the last key for it, but I've gotten, but I've gotten two of the three. I know at this point when I go and do it, it's just, it's literally just gonna be a wash of everything. Oh god, computer does not like what's going on. Computer, stop crapping the bed. Be stop crapping the bed because if we're playing a game from 2008. Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die. Damn it. There we go. Jesus. All right. I gotta get ready for bits because uh, I gotta work in the morning. Okay. So I'll see you later. All right. Thanks for stopping in. No problem. Peace. Later. All right. Let me hop out of here. I was more or less in there. I was more or less hanging out in uh, Dominic's Discord chat because I was gonna play. Uh... Open the game. I was gonna play some. Uh... Warzone if I was enjoying it, but it Warzone kind of wore on me, so Omega, that's what they call it. And I could probably run an expert or two on auto on autoplay and probably get and probably get it handled. Or probably get it at least unlocked. But I think I'm gonna I think tonight for stream schedule, I think I'm probably just gonna finish up opportunity and then probably call it for the evening. Unless something else comes up. And roll some augments. By augments, do you mean character, like the uh, crystals that bump up characters' uh, overall health and strength stat? Those those crystals or something else? Okay. Yeah, I need to get more for the worm prints specifically. I've got enough for like character specific upgrades that I don't need to re really re-roll. I've got 300 of each in just in storage right now. Get your kneecaps. Ah, uh, breaking. Back away from you. Yep, that did a lot of damage. Pick up the extra grenade, buddy. 
I did. I, I don't want to give 30. Never mind. I, I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to, I'm gonna have to spend like another day doing all this before I get. Oh no! Did I just get the key? No, that was silver. I'm at like uh, 2,800. I'm at 2,800 when it comes to gold tickets. That's the one I'm missing. Is getting that the 3K or gold, whatever you want to call it. Are you done sawing off Jack at the legs? I and mean, we've been done. There we go. I did it, Mom. I did it, Mom. I'm a hero. Well, I'm really glad that that uh, mit, uh, loot midget dropped a whole bunch of grenades. Granados, this was. Or uh, this this stupid, the silly, stupid, strong grenade. That's... What were the stats in that thing again? Uh, almost 1,900 damage. And it splits into child grenades. So it basically homes like this. It's going to home in on one enemy to start the whole trend. And then it's just going to kill everything else around it. Like that. Hey, right, Krampus. I'm blowing off that shield. He's dead. You can have that up there. Oh, you're both up there. Okay. Man, you're a both heat bots. Badass? That's a badass. I'm gonna kill myself right here, watch. And he's going to come down here with me. Just to quote the man. I'm never sorry. Oh, yeah. And forgive me for repeating stuff from the star stream, but I hope you guys are having a good day today. I hope you guys, I hope it's been a good day for you guys for the most part. I've been awake since two, about two o'clock, two thirty my time, because I, because I couldn't fall asleep yesterday. Like, well, I could, I fell, I went to bed, and then my body said, I don't like this falling asleep thing. Let me try, let me try not falling asleep. So I stayed up till five a.m. and then I had to be up at nine to help, help a friend with something. Go away. Oh, that's the foreman right here in front of me. Haha. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay, he doesn't like this. Does he like this? He might. He's he's gonna die. But yeah. So I've been awake. I've been awake since two thirty. And I barely gotten anything done today, but I got it done. Um, 
kind of sitting on pins and needles a little bit right now because it's, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is a the, the at least for the time being the last day of the Mario Golf with Friends stuff. Hi, buddy. Tomorrow's the last day of the Mario Golf with Friends videos, and also get to put out a trailer for the new project. And I'm a little and I'm I'm kind of curious what everybody's gonna say about that because, like, that uh, knock it out. Like that uh, that I'm waiting what people are gonna say about that game actually about my choice in playing that game rather. Come back here. Stop running. Why are you running? Badass shield surveyor, huh? Can I hit him? Oh, I'm gonna go up there and get him after I run up there on the ladder itself. Man, my computer just does not like what's going on right now. Oh, it's a badass lower. That's why we're having issues. It's raining grenades! Right? Where are you? Come on. Why are you up there? I can hit you, you know. I'm shooting birds. We call this bird spotting. I don't know who calls it that, but we're calling it that now. Man, I am losing frames. On my end, not at your guys' end. Boop. Sounds like that key was just the right size. See if there's anything useful in there. If it can open. I thought I push button again. Okay, why did I have to push the button a second time? If I know my explosives, and I'd like to think I do, you could use those charges to flood the construction site. If you'd blow up the nearby retaining wall and flood those pits, I'd be awful grateful. Oh, balloon tits is still all in a crotch against me, huh? I mean, don't get me wrong, I guess it's once you've eaten fine for him for free and talking about that, just sucking down a hammer to his freaking ass. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Here, have this constructor. I'm gonna back up a little bit. How did you live through that? Man, I hate opportunity too. Also, yes, I definitely just glanced over the fact that Jack just went on about a dick and the fact that he is one. Buzzing. Well, I'm in the pit. I'm just gonna throw a couple of these grenades out with it. And then walk up, knock way up otherwise. Do not worry about the screen shake, this is normal. Uh, can I help you? Actually, you know what, you can help yourself, I'm out. Bounced off the wall. Tell your friends about the explosion. Where did the explosion go? That was fun. Is it bad that I did that? Probably.
Oh, shut up down there. Well, I got far enough away, right? Hello. Hello, gun loader. How are you today, friend gun loader? That's gonna explode right on top of me, isn't it? Oh, that's why we're having an issue. I like these grenades. Literally because they let me autopilot. Actually, mostly because they let me autopilot. Oh, all right. I'm going the wrong way. I need to do home movies. Well, oh, not gonna lie. And sorry if this is minor spoilers for the for uh, Borderlands Three for anybody, but not gonna lie. It, seeing Lilith, it's kind of weird to think that she can do the all the, she can do all of her things, but she's not doing all of her things. She's literally just calling the shots from afar instead of having a reason to call her shots from afar. She's actually just lazy. I don't believe it. Oh my god. How do up? Oh god, we're going down. Um... Oh, this is how up. I think. No, I'm kind of right back at square one, aren't I? A reminder, workers. You can tell a R42 hidden assault turret from a P34 hidden security camera by a small orange stripe in the base of the town. We don't want to repeat the mistakes of the high period suburbs on Promethea. Half the town got blown to bits when they tried to take shower. Hi. I need another good SMG. I need a good SMG like this. Okay, you can have it, friend. Later. I should do it. Okay, it mostly did it. Hi, buddy. Good talk. Oh, did I throw it in time? I don't think I threw it in time. Just gonna go through my entire clip here. And dead. Oh, um, 
Hufa. What was I gonna say? What are you doing over here, sir? Did that just try and tell me that that green grenade was better than my, than my orange grenade? Uh, anyway. I think we'll go back to that badass bot in a little bit. First, let's do... This thing. Let's do this thing. Here, hold that. I'm gonna get out of here before they crash into me. Thinking back on it, like I made the tweet earlier today that like the Warzone gameplay I put together I would use as like a kind of a, kind of like a, what is it, kind of like a bootleg think fast footage. I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I think I'm just going to wash that war that Warzone think fast video simply because everybody who's been playing Warzone has probably been playing it straight for the past three months at least. So they don't need my input on it. I think the other one I'm gonna. F I think the one I will focus on though is probably gonna be Valorant, which I'll probably record some of tomorrow. But I don't know. Just thinking out loud. All right, Mr. Crane, would you like to die now? I'm here. Hi guys. Okay, you're actually gonna fight me? Cool. Here. Hold this. I'm leaving. Hate. I mean, something I will say is like, you know, Warzone, the thing about Warzone is, I said it earlier, but I'm repeating what I said earlier because I feel like I need to. The thing about Warzone is, it's not, it's not bad. Like even Call of Duty in mind, it's not a bad idea. It's actually really fun what they're doing to shake up the whole Battle Royale stuff. I just think that unless I play it, I play it with friends, I don't think I can really get into it because, I mean, it's team oriented. So I'm trying to like be a team with people that I can't even communicate with or refuse to communicate. And I'm confused and scared because I've never played Call of Duty. So, yeah, just, but again, I'm, I'm just gonna let that thing fast on Warzone, just slide under the radar and I'm not gonna bother with it. All right, and now for the man who would be Jack. Handled. Oh, there was? Hold on, let me throw this down this hallway because people are going to be spawning on me to kill me. 
I was blind. Thank you. But it was not worth. Here, catch this fastball. Wherever you are. Oh, you're down here. That was fun. I love doing that. Move your stupid shield. Well, I go, I put a shield on. Nope, no stomping. Well, that happened. Give me that so I can heal up a little bit faster. Actually, do I have any more badass tokens I can redeem? Yes. I've redeemed all my badass tokens. That's one of the body doubles Jack uses to confuse assassins and impress his underlings. Here, you can have a grenade. Why is he not... You know what? This works. Really? Hi, buddy. Oh, God, they are spawning around me so sporadically. I knocked his block off. I think I got him that time. I like how quickly their their tune changes. Something random. I know I know Farf popped in, but um, yesterday I was playing Fortune Street with uh, with friends. Well, it turned into Fortune Street. We start. We tried to play. We tried to play th uh, Triforce Heroes via our um, Nintendo or our Microsoft 3DSs, but that didn't work out very well. 
even though we had a test run of it that worked out flawlessly. And but yeah, it turned well. First, the it turned into Mario Maker, and then it turned into it turned into Mario Maker. It turned and then it turned into Fortune Street. And then we played some more even later on. We played some other stuff later on. Just yeah, I don't know. But to bring up that game, we had our first time player who was poised to win. All she had to do was get to the bank. And then she promptly got upended by a person who invested in her, who invested stocks in one of her three districts that still had a lot of growth. Which I feel bad for too, because it was her first game and she had four monopolies? Yeah, she had four monopolies. She got up to 15 grand of the 2000. She got up to 15 grand of the, uh. of the 20 needed to win, and then stonks. It was good to have her play because that was her first time. Like, as she said, she had never played. Mono she hadn't even played Monopoly. So trying to explain, uh, trying to explain Fortune Street to somebody who hasn't even played Monopoly was kind of a chore. But she was, she was winning. In fact, she was winning. She was winning handily, so handily, and then stonks. Just like last second stonks at one. She had 24,000 at the end of it. She just couldn't get to the bank before the person was stonks. right spot yes oh here bye Okay, hold on. Get down here to any whites I might have. Q. Way 
that's the final door to Angel's control. Uh, well, she's kept her, her part of the bargain, surprisingly. Time to return the favor. Come on back and we'll steal ourselves a vault key. I mean, playing Monopoly at this point, it's not that hard. Hold up a second. Uh, home. This is a message to the Crimson Raider Resistance. Do you see that shining city on the horizon? That's what you're resisting. Beauty, purity, order. You think about that the next time you're sleeping in your own filth. Give me a minute. There it is. I mean, it's very easy to play Monopoly. Just get Monopoly on Switch forehead. That does not look very good, does it? Just get Monopoly on Switch forehead. You cannot see it off. Trust me, it's Monopoly. Oh, I imagine. I imagine all the console versions suck because apparently because they also have a t they have a timeout mechanic. So even if you're discussing a trade, you can get timed out and booted from a match. That's where I, that's how I know about to shade. Is it just is they were playing and then just is just um I forget which I forget which their code names respond correspond to who. I apologize. But just so and so has been kicked from the game. You have inherited all their properties. Well why? Well, I have lo I have unlocked ahead. Long live the meat. Long live the meat dimension. Let's go see the tools of our efforts. Hey, you can actually kind of see his face in there. Minecraft. How much iridium have I gotten? Have I gotten enough to upgrade my SMG? Yes. Uh. What else would I like to upgrade? Pistol, grenades. Considering the build is focused on grenades, grenades. Deal with the use add on. Why loot the dead when you can buy from me? That now might be a better shotgun than what I'm using. It says it is. So we'll do it. I could gamble. This is true. I think first things first is drop these off. This isn't a discussion. You're not going without me. Period. Look, I need you here protecting Sanctuary. If this turns out to be a trap, I need you to keep these people safe. Is this because Angel told me not to come? It is, isn't it? Lilith, damn it, would you just trust me, okay? If you get killed, I'm gonna be really pissed. No. You live, I'm tearing those clothes right off your body. Yeah, Lilith, also, we're standing right also, here. Lilith. Nobody wants to hear that. Go on. 
Thank you, Brick. This is it, everybody. Lilith, Mordecai, you're protecting the city. Brick will provide air support from Thousand Cuts, and I'll climb up to Control Core Angel from the cliff face. Any questions? Yeah, why ain't I going? I gotta pay Hyperion back for Bloodwing. And you will, but for now, I need you protecting Sanctuary in case this is just another trap. You'll get your payback, Mordecai. I promise. Long as you say so, Roland. Vault Hunter, we have a shot at stealing the Vault Key and stopping Jack from waking the warrior. All you have to do is get past a force field that'll atomize you, destroy a bunker carrying enough firepower to level a continent, and get through a door you can't possibly open. That's his way of saying we're probably gonna die. It's time to get Claptrap to Thousand Cuts. We need him to shut down the force field. Make it painful, guys. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> I don't even know what I took. I did. I, I fat fingered not hitting the button. Anyway. Okay. So let me sell some stuff here quick. If you got the money, I'll save your life. Uh. Health. Whoops. Oh well. It's gone now. Thanks, Lilith. It's gone. And it's gone. I need nothing done right now. Try me later. Alright, let's let's just do the smart thing like Farf said and gamble. Gamble, gramble, gramble, gramble. Okay. Actually, one thing I want to do, because this is probably one of the last things I'm going to do today, but let me do this. They didn't record voice lines for the psycho stuff. There's a skybox out there. Guys. I've made an unfortunate discovery. Alright, pull the wheels. Moxie, you might want to rethink how you can do your business here. Like, there's literally no guns to really buy. That's why, I think that's why you have money in this game anyway. You buy guns. It's a torque gun, which is the unfortunate part, but ooh. Let me fire it off a little bit. Yeah, I'll try next session, why not? I've been robbed twice. I can't believe it. So I guess while I'm doing this and, th and just randomly thinking about it, you know, after Charles was done streaming last night, we kind of just hung out after stream and we talked about stuff. And we were like, yo, what games does the Switch have, or does the Wii U have left to its name? Or left to its uh, legacy, so to say. Well, it's uh, Pikmin 3. And, uh... Paper Mario. Uh... And that's literally how the conversation kind of ended up is... Liz just said, uh... So what do I find when my ass finally wakes up at midnight... At midnight or, uh, to the original Splatoon? But that's kind of what leads up to the one we're saying. So, well, the Switch now has Splatoon 2. The, uh...
Huh. You know, we might be changing... Oh, it's an electric rifle. Never mind. Electric kind of sucks in this game. But what do I see when I wake up? What do I say when I wake up today, effectively? What? Oh uh, yeah. What do I see when I wake up today? Rumor: Pikmin Three. Or yeah, Pikmin Three heading to Nintendo Switch. And Paper Mario Origami Kingdom, or whatever they called it, official trailer dropped. It's like, hmm. Well, the Wii U is dying. Fancy that. I will say, I'm not going to knock the uh, original Splatoon 2 campaign and Splatoon 2, it's the Splatoon 1 campaign and Splatoon itself getting, kind of introducing everybody to the concept, but let's be honest, let's be honest, not a lot of things in Splatoon 1 really moved over very well. Why did that turn red? I have to go sell stuff. Pikmin 3, whatever. Uh, the follow-up to that is like, there's, they were saying, you know, if it's got, it, uh, it may happen, and if it's gonna happen, they're gonna announce that happening very soon, like with the next couple of weeks. But the Paper Mario thing, like, in an, like, uh, with Lucky, with Lucky and those guys, like, I just kind of dropped like a hot take of, here's kind of what I think of the Paper Mario stuff, including Origami as part of that list, uh, including stuff from the trailer of Origami kind of attributing to that list. And right now, it's just like, the best Paper Mario game is Thousand Year Door. I will sit in that camp. I don't, like, as much as people how like shout that from the rooftops, I will sit in that camp. And then, like, based on the trailer for Origami Kingdom, it seems like, uh, it seems like Origami Kingdom is going to be on par with 64 Super Paper Mario. Uh, yeah, those three games are going to be, like, all on the same level. And then it's Color Splash. And then Sticker Star just... Sticker Star doesn't exist. Sticker Star does not exist. Don't tell me it exists. It doesn't exist. It's a bad... It's a poorly designed game that didn't approach things in the right light. Makes you redo things. Makes you re-go through areas that, that are worse... Makes you re-go through areas in not in a good platforming sense, but makes you re-go through areas in a we need to pad this game out. And especially if you want to get 100 percent you have to redo areas at least you have to redo an area at least three times. At least. I know that is the like in the past, that is like in in the past and present. That's the only time where I've gotten I've downloaded a digital copy of a game onto my system, and within a couple hours of doing it, I have uninstalled it from my system. Instead of instead of buying new instead of buying a new hard drive or finding a new way to install a new hard drive to increase the the storage capabilities, I just uninstalled the game. I uninstalled the game because like, you know what, there are going to be better games coming out that I'm just going to... There are going to be better games coming out that I will just make the room for in advance. You know, if you enjoyed Sticker Star, 
don't let some don't let me some jackass on the internet sit here and hound you and say you're get your opinions bad don't let that happen enjoy your game regardless of what i'm saying i'm literally just telling you exactly how i feel about sticker star from the two hours i've sunk into it and from other reviews who have been uh, put out there to talk about it more Right, and I would, you know, I would side with that far, just because maybe I wasn't in the right mindset, so I wasn't, you know, thinking smart about how to do it. Hello? Nope. Maybe I'm not in the right mindset for it, so I can't give a good opinion upon it. But, at the same, to at the same token, you know, I played enough of the... Oops. I've played enough of them that I feel like I've, I at least have a decent enough idea of what's going on that I can safely, you know, give my opinion on it. Let me read this stuff. Um, what happens when you... I think when you have nothing to attack with, you literally can't do anything in a battle. Your options are run. That's why I don't think I liked Sticker Star. At least for me, that's, I think that's why I don't like Sticker Star. Because it literally put on that stipulation of, hey, you have to go and grind up these materials so you can progress through the area. It would literally... The equivalent would... And, and like, the, the equivalent... The best equivalent I can give to this is what Ceiling complains the most about with Breath of the Wild. Which I gave a counterpoint to, but he, does, but he, he, he can stand on his hill, that's fine. I understand he doesn't like it for that reason, that's fine. The counterpoint I'll give in Breath of the Wild is the Great Plateau, at the top of the Great Plateau, is the only place you can get weapons. Go, going, going out and fighting anything else, using up those weapons and then breaking, but you kill the enemies, those enemies don't drop replacement weapons. So if you want more weapons, you have to go back to the Great Plateau. I don't know, maybe at some point in the future, when that game is, with all the bad reviews, that game comes out again in physical, I'll go buy a physical version, and maybe we'll stream it, and I'll see how I feel about it in the future. But right now, based on the two-ish hours I've played of it, I do not like Sticker Star, because it is needless backtracking. Some RPGs are fine, RPGs are fine with backtracking, if it is for plot purposes. The backtracking in Sticker Star is literally is literally, well we want, to, well we need to pad out the game, so go back. At least that's what it feels like to me. Sorry, I'm really distracted by this little bit of hangnail I've got going on here. I've I could be doing more gambling. There we go. Taken care of. I think the other thing that kind of gets me, kind of gets my goat a little bit too, is um, because at the time I was at the time and even still now, like I still try and 100% a game within reason. Like I'm not gonna 100% Borderlands 2 because many quests can be failed and there's there's some quests can be failed and some of them are too easy to fail. 
I'm not getting that. But like when I play a game now, I try my best to 100% it because to get the full experience and not feel like I left anything on the table. For, for sticker star 100%. Like uh let's see. I got to remember. I think I think the first boss gave you scissors or was it the or was it the uh Japanese cat thing, lucky cat thing that you got from the first boss area. I forget now. Regardless, one of those two things are a very special thing. You have to do all of that area twice if you're 100%ing, because you have to get the very special sticker, put it in the vault, and then go and get it again for the quest. Or whatever somebody else might need in town. Uh, no NPCs told me I could buy them. So maybe that was another fault is that they didn't have any, maybe I didn't get far enough to an NPC could tell me I could buy it. Or something of that regard. I feel like I stole, I stole my rocket launcher earlier. Oh well, it's gone now. Okay, but anyway, I've kind of went on a ramble, ramble, rant, and rampage. Uh, how many keys do I have? Six. My freaking shift account got reset. Or maybe that's just Borderlands 1 where I had the 75 keys and it just generates on Borderlands 1. Anyway. I was gonna I was gonna be like, hey, I have 75 keys, let me pop up in this chest, but it's not gonna happen. Anyway, I think I'm gonna cut things off here. It's getting a little late. And I need to do some things before I go to bed. As well. Oh wait. Do we have coins? I just spent them all the time getting those. Okay, I know there were vendors that sold normal attacks. That one I knew about. I didn't know there were ones that sold the special stickers like the scissors or the fan or the cut or the lucky cats or stuff like that. Like, it wouldn't have sold as well, but if Sticker Star was its own game, it probably would have, it, people would have probably been much more lenient on it, kind of like, like Shade's saying. People would probably been much more understanding and lenient on the game if it didn't have the Paper Mario tag slapped on it. But it had the Paper Mario tag slapped on it. So, I don't know. Like, there are several games where if it didn't have X tag slapped on it, it would have done immensely better, probably. Maybe not sales-wise, but everything else about it would have been immensely better. First example I can think of, Star Fox Adventures. If it had stayed, if it had stayed Dinosaur Planet, it probably would have been more re uh, better received. Oh no, I like Super Paper Mario as well. Super Paper Mario, I think, was a great, great game. Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. That's another example of if it didn't have, if it didn't have the Banjo Kazooie title on it, it probably would have been a great game. Uh, I'm trying to think of a game that I own that falls into this category, though, right now. Charge, you stupid gamepad. Like, I can see my collection over here. Give me a second. I can see most of it, anyway. Somehow, Kirby Epic Yarn avoided the backlash, by the way. Somehow, it, went, it avoided the backlash of... Because it has X title on it, it's a, considered a bad game. Epic Yarn, I think, got a pass on that. And luckily, that also made Goodfeel 
be recognized as a decent producer or decent maker of games. I guess another one, I don't know from personal experience, but another one I can think of is uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, Mind, Mind Over Mutant, and those two, that two game series. Because like, it probably could have been it, it probably could have been received much better if it wasn't a Crash Bandicoot game, but they just they made a two game series that forced Crash into it, and it was just like, okay, well, we're here now. This is this Crash Bandicoot? No. But does it have the Crash Bandicoot name? Yes. <sighs> yeah, Epic Yarn is a good game. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, what's in, like, I'm trying to think of other games, like, games that I like that people now crap on, but, like, games that I like that, that has a title on it that... Like, that has a title on it that just says, this is part of this franchise, and it doesn't feel like the franchise, so people hate it, but I still like it. Like, and this is exactly looping back around to Sticker Star. People may still like Sticker Star, regardless of the fact that Paper Mario is slapped on the front of it or not. But, as for me personally, as, well, actually, I can think of it. The series that I love that probably would have done just as well without without its header is the Pokemon Rumble series. Like I got Farp is was on my exact wavelength. I love the Pokemon Rumble series. I love that series. It's kind of even the phone game is decent to an extent. Like the fact that it's Pokemon, it has all these figurines that help that help expand the roster of the game to make it better. But like that first one on the Wii and the one on the 3DS Fantastic games. The one on the Wii U, a little less. Well, a lot less, I'll say. I didn't even finish the Wii U one. I'll be I'll be real with you. But it kind of, like, after those first two games, it, like, Pokemon Rumble as a series just kind of, no, like, die-bombed into obscurity. Play Pokemon Rumble Blast. It's a good game. Hell, maybe I'll even, maybe in the future I'll even erase my save file and do a playthrough on Twitch here. Yeah. Well, I mean, it probably also the reason why I like it is because Unga Bunga, me me like beat him up, me like beat him up, me like push button in rapid succession and rewarded with shining lights. Me no like think. Also, yeah, it's gonna be a good, good close range pistol. That's probably is why I like your guy, because I like beat em ups, and that game is beat em ups. Yes, I have to stop and think when it comes to doing particular parts of quests when and uh, actually think a little bit. But other than that, other than other than like the raid mechanics of using my brain to dodge stuff, I I literally can just. I'm emphasizing a point, by the way, if it wasn't <laughs> obvious. I'll stop. There's a woodpecker outside. You should go see him. I just shook both my monitors and moved them on my table. I should stop that. <laughs> oh, anyway. I went off on a tangent for like another 15-20 minutes after I said I was going to stop. But... That too, like, I almost feel like, I feel like the Kirby part of Kirby Clash may have hurt it a little bit. Because I don't think people really even touched it because they were like, oh boy, a Kirby game. And it was, 
effectively Monster Hunter Light. Like if, like if Capcom grabbed up that same uh, style of 2D game where you work together to defeat a large boss, it may work better. Oh, I played that one on stream a while ago, Shade. Uh, Kirby, or I guess the, the third entry in the series, Super Kirby Clash. I feel like if Capcom uh, snapped up that idea, it may have, it may, they may have like a quick, a quick offshoot game they could have fun with instead of just the huge Explore the 3D World one they've got. So yeah, there's many examples of a game that they are, if they're given a title, sometimes it nothing happens to it and it works out fine. Sometimes it's given a title and it makes it worse, or sometimes it's give or. A lot of times it's given a title and it does no better or no worse it, it, if it had the title or not. Eh, it's a, free, it's a freemium game, so, you know, it's going to suffer from some kind of premium currency. Undeva. Uh, did anybody have any other questions before I skedaddle for the rest of the evening? Um, while I wait for those, I will say, I said, I will say when it comes to Saturday stream, that's very much going to be up in the air. Uh, Saturday stream will be very much up in the air because I told my dad, I told my dad I would help him with some work around his house. I don't know to what extent that's going to be or how, uh, or how hard that work's going to be or how long. But if you, but if I don't say anything on Twitter or if you don't see me pop up at least by the normal seven, like the usual 7 p.m. start time, you know, that's because I'm currently, I'm currently either eating dinner after, after working all day or I'm just too tired to stream. So I figured I would say something on that front before I just like Saturday comes around, where scooter? Why no stream? Anyway, yeah, no questions for you guys. So let's let's cap off this evening with getting you guys somewhere for. Oh, that's why the computer is freaking out. It was updating Steam. Um, but before we end things off, let's do our normal thing and get you guys over to somebody who is streaming for tonight. Uh. Really is it? I went to close the window and it popped up Tekken 7. Tekken 7 is 10 bucks, by the way. Ace Attorney is 50, 18, Ace Attorney Trilogy is on Steam for 15 bucks. Halo 2 Anniversary, now available. Paradox, Publisher Sale Weekend. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Fallout 76. Die. And they're telling me Deep Rock Galactic is on sale. Right. The whole raiding somebody thing. So. Um, ow, my back. What the hell? Oh. Character select screen. Okay. So your choice is tonight. Um, Alternic is streaming Smash Brothers Brawl. That's all I'm going to say in the matter. Uh, I will say it's a, it's a very unique experience on the Microsoft Wii that he's playing. I'll just, just to flourish it a little bit. Uh, Botanic Sage is playing Animal Crossing. Resident Hearts is playing ARMS. Icy Hedgy, Icy is playing... Pokemon Red and Blue, he th he's aiming to finish up the game tonight and move on to the Generation 2 game. He's kind of playing through all the Pokemon games at this point. Um, Kyle Ken, Kenny, he is playing Digimon World Next Order. Don't even know what it is, but I'm just telling you it's there. So, 
Run down the list again. Alternic is playing Smash. Botanic Sage is playing Animal Crossing. Resident Hearts is ar playing ARMS. ICIG, Pokemon, Kaioken, Digimon. What's the flavor tonight? <laughs> I don't know if I'll go to that extreme, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I gotta switch, uh, switch tweet to Rayton and see if I'm done. Um, if there is no preference, I'm probably gonna go raid. Uh, well, actually, let me look through it again because I actually pay attention. I think I'll probably raid. I'll probably raid Alternic or Dominic while he's playing Smash tonight. Actually, instead, so so if there's no if there's no uh, preference for you guys, that's probably what I'll end up doing. Which I will preemptively start that up. Um, again, no special raid message. Just go over there, give him, give him a little bit of a little bit of love, and keep your eyes on Twitter. Or I guess now I've got a Twitter widget on my Twitch page now, which I set up like a month ago. But I have a Twitter widget on my on my page. So if you don't see me online, either if you don't see me online and want to watch on Twitch, either check that widget down there. Or check the Twitter page itself, or check or check my Twitter profile itself to see if I'm alive and well, or planning on streaming at all. Anyway, you folks have a good night, and I will see you later. I I timed this poorly. I had to actually process the raid, you know, send him off, send it off to him, you know, that, that whole thing. All right, have a good night, folks.